Hey guys. Uh, this week was topic five, rationalism versus empiricism. Um, John Locke's tabula rasa, the idea that uh, we come into the world as blank slates with no knowledge and that the things that we know and, and what we are is entirely dependent upon our sensory experience. Um, I think that there is plenty of evidence to support this. Um, Leslie brought up the example of observing the sun moving through the sky and then deducing that that must be due to the relative positions of the earth and the sun. And I think that that's valid. There, there's you know probably no way that we would come to the conclusion that the earth revolves around the sun without being able to observe that uh, phenomenon visually. Um, a lot of people brought up the application of education um, with Locke's theory, and uh, I think that that is definitely important uh, that, you know, if we're blank slates, then education, uh, our educational system is, you know, one of our most valuable resources. And um, we definitely need to invest in that human capital. Um, Abby made the point that uh, we're only as good as our mentors and teachers. Um, and I think that's definitely true. Although I disagree with Locke's theory, at least the extreme nature of his theory, um, I do think that uh, the things that we're taught and the things that we experience definitely contribute to what we know um, and that, uh, you know, having good teachers and mentors and positive experiences in life will, um, you know, only benefit us. Um, and then on the rationalist side, uh, you know, the idea that um, what we know has to do in a large part with our ability to reason and to think things through and that we don't necessarily need to experience something in order to know it. Um, and maybe there are even inherent, there maybe even is inherent knowledge. Um, so Danielle brought up the, the uh, example of a study where they tried to coax babies across a, in a, what appeared to be a cliff, but of course it was safe. It wasn't a real cliff. Um, but the babies inherently seemed to know that this was, it was dangerous to crawl over the side of this cliff. And uh, so I think that speaks volumes to the idea that there is some degree of inherent knowledge in us as humans. And, uh, and I think that's pretty, pretty irrefutable evidence that, um, you know, at least um, inherent knowledge exists in us to some degree. Um, <clears throat> several people brought up the work of Descartes who um, emphasize our ability to think rationally as you know, our primary means of obtaining knowledge. And uh, again, I, I disagree with either extreme, um, <clears throat> but I'd lean more toward, my, personally, I'd lean more towards um, the rationalist side of the debate um, than the empirical side of the debate. Um, Spinoza, who is uh, one of my favorite philosophers because he separated from Cartesian dualism and proposed the idea that there's really only one reality and that reality is God. Um, and I just think that's a cool idea. And he also came up with, uh, out of this idea of there only being one reality that, um, you know, what happens in our brain and what happens emotionally and behaviorally with us are essentially the same thing and, uh, you know, different sides to the same coin. And, um, I think today, uh, psychology still recognizes that as, um, as a, as a truth, you know, what happens in our brain, uh, gives rise to, you know, our behaviors and the way that we feel and the way that we think. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, great, uh, great discussion uh, this week and I'll talk to you guys next week.